Let's do a little OSINT with the Harvester. I'm logged into Kali as the Kali user. Just going to come up to Apps in the upper left, click that. Go to Information Gathering, OSINT Analysis, click that, and come down to the Harvester. Now notice that it's spelled one word, all lowercase, and I'm going to make a comment in just a moment. Click that. When it opens up, let me just scroll back a little bit here, it opens to the new version, which has a capital H. Don't forget that in Linux, everything is case sensitive. When the tool opens, it opens the help files. We can see the basic user, the harvester, and then one thing you have to put in at least is tac small d and then the name of the domain, such as ecouncil.org. Then you can also limit your results and use particular DNS and get screenshots, indicate the file name for output, and the one that's especially interesting is the source. Let's scroll down there, take a look. The Harvester has been through a number of renovations, iterations. They used to have far more sources than this. You'll notice now that there's no Google and there's no LinkedIn. It will look for LinkedIn links, but it won't go to LinkedIn per se. But it does have VirusTotal and Yahoo and DuckDuckGo and Hacker Target and Baidu and a bunch of others. We're just going to do a simple search on EC Council. So the Harvester with a capital H, Harvester, TAC small d, ECCouncil.org, ECCouncil.org, and we'll limit to 500 results, and our source will be all, all of these. Now, not all of these will work, but we're just going to try them. Press Enter. You can see that it says, hey, I need API keys for some of these. Um, that's fine. We'll take a look at getting API keys a little bit later. And it might also have some things like I can't connect to this or some error with that, but that's fine. It's searching the various sources. It'll take a couple minutes, so when it's done, we'll come back. It's done. Let's scroll back and take a look at our results. There are a ton of hosts here. Back, 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 back. Oh, some longer URLs. All right. This stuff up here is status on the search, starting with five autonomous system numbers, which if we did lookups on those would tell us network IP blocks as well as possibly we could find routes to them. Interesting URLs, 53, not just normal hosts, but looks like there are some blogs, privacy policy. We'll scroll down here. Cybersecurity Awareness Month, special offers. As we scroll down, we could follow one of these and click it. Just out of curiosity here, uh, how about this one? Just I'm picking them randomly. I'm just going to right click this highlighted or this underlined one and I'm just going to open the link. Should open Firefox to it. Uh huh. CodeRedMarketing.ecCouncil.org. Hard to tell if this is a host or a subdomain. Probably a host of ecouncil.org would be my guess. I wonder if it is well secured or not. That would be interesting. Has some little pop-ups and it's trying to sell us some stuff. Let's go back to our results, go down farther. Well, some of these are pretty lengthy. I wonder, how about this one? Let me just try to open this one. Not another one of those. Okay, continuing on down here. What's this? Something Facebook? Cybersecurity Skill Builder? Oh, what's this one? Let's just try it. Okay, yet another. Mm -hmm. 
Continuing on. The interesting part about all of this is these are either hosts or they are, well, they're URLs, but like iclass.eccouncil.org, probably a host. Code Red Marketing, probably a host. Payment, no, oh, this would be interesting. Invoice link. iLabs, login. Let's follow the iLabs login. Let's see that one. Okay, oh, here's where we could try a little SQL injection, huh? Okay, let's go back. What about this payment.eccouncil.org? That might be interesting. Right-click this one. Let's go to this one. Invoice link. Huh. Invoice payment app. Well, seems to be a transient thing. We don't actually see anything now. Can we just right-click this and and look at the page source? Is there anything? Oh, no, nothing. There's nothing to this page. All right. Continuing on. So there's a ton of stuff. To go. Wow, look at this gigantic thing. As I mouse over this, this whole line, all these lines, five, six lines, seven lines. Right click this one. What's this? Okay, whatever. URL 7581. <laughs> I wonder if that was dynamically built. Right click. Let's just, oh, can't even choose the page source. Oh, is this like a one pixel? Mm. Mouse over, I don't see anything. Inspect. Ah, uh, no, not much to this. Mm. Okay, well, that was kind of disappointing. That was old. No LinkedIn links found, but 97 IP addresses found. Oh, this is good. So this means we could find routes to these various hosts. All right, scrolling down a little bit more. Lots of IPs, oh, even a few IPv6s. And then actual hosts with their IP addresses. What would be fun is to go down the line here and see which ones look like potential targets. Autodiscover.eccouncil.org. Oh. Autodiscover is, in some cases, the default name of the Microsoft Exchange webmail front end that uh, is used to kind of discover where your particular webmail server is. Backend dash code red blog hmm, campaign all very very interesting stuff checkout dot ecouncil dot org huh well this would be fun to just kind of take a look at some of these in greater detail some of these are beta tests ah beta tests might be not as well secured they might just be there for development and not uh, as secured as say a public facing production Ooh, dev cert ebooks lots of interesting stuff scrolling down a little bit farther loads and loads and loads it looks like the harvester for eccouncil.org gave us a ton of hosts with their ips and urls that looked different and autonomous system numbers that's quite a bit of stuff okay Let's move on.